Honey, I dash, got it on smash, foot on the gas. I would not crash, they would not stop me. Tenfold, copy, end zone, watch me, celebrate, I'm cocky. I do my dance, jump in the stands, no man, no man, I'll deal with the hands. Thought he could guard me, I ruin they plans. I do what I want, they do what they can. Got it on smash, foot on the gas, I would not crash. They can't catch up cause they lacking the stamina Way too advanced to be playing with amateurs They on attack when they tackle like damages They react and play it back on the camera High boy, just consider me flammable Sure shot, I got all the intangibles Need a leash, I'm a beast, I'm an animal Eat the competition up like a Hannibal Know the game like I wrote up the manual I do weekly what you do on the annual MVP, that decision unanimous Hit dials, I don't think they can handle it Battlefield, it's just me and my warriors Guaranteed we emerge victorious Years, blood, sweat, tears, it's glorious I remember when they always ignoring us Dash, dash, got it on Smash, dash, foot on the gas I will not crash, they will not stop me, tempo, copy, end zone, watch me, celebrate, I'm cocky, I do my dance, jump in the stands, no man, no man, I'll deal with the hands, thought they could guard me, I ruin they plans, I do what I want, they do what they can, got it on smash, put in the gas, I will not crash, honey y'all, dash, 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 Coach, as the 2019 regular season starts speeding toward a conclusion, not too many games remain to be played here in Oakland, California. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The folks around the stadium clad in silver and black going to make every last game played in Oakland count. They're ready to go as their Raiders get set to match up with the Tennessee Titans. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Darren Waller, the intended receiver. Boy, an aggressive play call to start this game. It backfired, but aggressive, no question about that. Is that one of those statement calls? Trying to let you know that they're going to be aggressive right out of the gate. But that one hung up just a little bit too long. He made a nice play on the ball defensively and was able to pick it off. Derrick Henry. Heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. On second down, here's Henry. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. First down, Tennessee. This is Deion Lewis now in his ninth NFL season. A great move in there, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Mariota hands to Henry. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry, his 11th touchdown of the year. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. X 
Extra point up and good by Suckup. And it's now a 7 nothing game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Not the start that they were hoping for. The interception on the first play of the game. It leads to six points the other way. How do you rebound from here? Yeah, a little bit of humor. Got to laugh that one off and not the ha-ha. That was very funny, but kind of like, can you believe that just happened? Let's go out and play now. Let's just start over. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. To throw his car. Well, fight is tight end. That's Waller. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Carr gives to Rashard. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. A gain of three, second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. Now a first carry for Dial Pumphrey. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. First down. First down at the 41 yard line. Back 55. Back 55. 93. 93. Mike 55. Mike 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. You, you, you. You got on play action, it's Carr. Caught by Nelson. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Give him a couple on the catch, it's second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Hey, Wahoo! Here's Carr. Inside the 15 before they drop it. A first down there on a pickup of 25. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Hey, Steve Six. Steve Six. Recon, 132 fighter. It's Motion out of the backfield. Motion out of the backfield. Into the red zone. It's Carr. That's going to be caught by Williams for a Raiders touchdown. Tyrell Williams. His ninth touchdown this season as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. 
It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You talk about tiny? You talk about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. The second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and 10. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Nevin Lawson with a pick, and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Had a bit of a lane there, took advantage of it. Give him seven there on the first down carry. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now Carr. And all this is taken in one hand and what a catch. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves, they do have a little grip to them. They have a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. And he slings one that's incomplete. J.J. Nelson, the intended target. But it'll be second and goal. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. On the run, it's Pumphrey. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Third and goal. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. The kick by Carlson is good. Last season for Carlson, bit of a strange rookie year. Won the Vikings job, then was let go week two after going 0 for 3, but he picked things back up. Remember, he was drafted to cure their kicking woes, and he ends up going 0 for 3 against Green Bay, including the potential game winner. Gets cut, picked up by the Raiders, 16 for 17 the rest of the season. I'd say at the end of the year, a pretty good success story. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A running play there, going to get 10 and a quick first down. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field. But also, when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Henry. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They'll try to throw now. Mariota. 
He gets it to Humphreys. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 36. A gain of 16 yards. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Henry. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's brought down just outside of the ten at the 11. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On second down, it's Henry. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. All right, coming up at intermission. Charles, you want to wait to enhance your Saturday? I certainly do. Uh, I've got just a thing for you. It's the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by Orlando. He'll be alongside and have to take us through the weekend in the NFL. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Try to punch it in with Henry. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Titans are going to retake the lead. Extra point put through by Sucker, and the lead is now 14 to 10. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Card out of throw. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. It went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. With it is Jackson. 
Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And it'll be Titan football. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. On play action, Mariota. And they get to Mariota here as he's dropped on the sack. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Mariota now. Going deep for Walker. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Well, partner, I guess that answers the question about whether they're going to sit on it or not. <laughs> it does. Now we'll see if they try that again. Yeah, I think what we find on plays like that, when you take that shot, if you're unsuccessful, then you go way more conservative to finish the half, you know? I think that's the way they'll go. Deion Lewis in the final seconds of the first half. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. Extra point was hooking, but he does make it through. And that makes it a 21-10 game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Titans hold the lead, and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive, and they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the table and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Brings up second and nine at the 24-yard line. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They try again with Lewis. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. The Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Working out of the gun, Mariota. And that will be incomplete. So no problems moving the ball in the first half, but they'll likely come up empty here on drive one of quarter three. And it was so important for the defense to get that stop because what we witnessed in the first half was them getting run over. And they needed the confidence, and they needed to get off the field so they felt good going forward in this game. 
A good return there, 17 yards. And the Raiders will take over now, first and 10. The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. They'll run here with Pumphrey. Tackle made by Kenny Vaccaro. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on